Hello everyone, my name is Jamori and we are in Let's Play session number two. And today I will be playing yet another James Bond game. The game that we'll be playing today is James Bond The Duel. Now, The Duel was a game that came out um, in 1993 and it was produced by, it was developed by the Kremlin and it came out for the Sega Genesis. So, um, let's give it a whirl. Game, let me turn it down. Oh, snap. Platformer. Oh, okay, so how do I shoot? I gotta figure out how to shoot. It said A, I'm pressing A, it's not working. S, Q, let's go down the number keys. Nope. 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 Okay, so. So Z is jump. So the emulator was wrong. Z is jump. X is to shoot. Okay, I love this game. Save the babe. I got two more babes to save. Oh, I love the 90s. <laughs> I got two more babes to save. This is kind of fun. And yeah, maybe a little sexy, but... Ah. Uh, one more babe to save. Another hot blonde. Oh, snap up, the shards up, yeah. So the mechanics are jumping, of course, mo movement. And a shooting. This is Texas. I feel like James Bond's American in this game because he just shoots and asks questions later. Um, I really like this game so far. Oh, diagonal shooting. Hold up. And James Bond is in the dexterous. Takes fall damage, I guess. And I'm not quite sure what happened, but... Where's my lives? I must have one more life here left. But yeah, so I think what's really, I mean, I guess around this, um, what's unique about this game? I don't know. It, it just seems like another platform with projectiles, but I think it's really cool how this is kind of like one of the first games where James Bond you get to actually go around shooting because before we were playing 
you know, we're in an era where it was James Bond driving, but now he's actually being James Bond shooting. Now, it doesn't capture the stealth aspect of James Bond, and, but he has a mission. His mission is to save a girl, stop the world, whatever, but I think it's really cool and unique to at the time, especially if this was based... No, I don't think this game was based off of a movie. But um, I really like it. I, I like I could sit and play this game and try to beat it. Probably bored enough. But it, there's a lot more juice to this game too, with the sound and, and uh, the sound effects and everything. And then the stairs, the movements, the animations. There's a lot of juice to it, which makes it fun to play. Well, thank you again for watching. Have a good one.